it's a big palette. You know, it's a big palette of color and light, and I'm just really drawn to that. It's got to be the most colorful, dynamic, well lit. You know, uh, we've definitely got the most skyscrapers. Also, New York City's got some fantastic bridges too. It's surrounded by water. Um, there's everything there, um, and there's a lot of it. I mean, New York City is gigantic. I'm lucky. Uh, uh, proximity. I'm, you know, 30 minutes away from uh, New York City, at least from the Jersey side. I would go out when, you know, ever, ever had the time to shoot, you know, just basic cityscapes. Particularly, it seems like I've specialized over the years, moon rises and moon sets. That seems to be um, lately what my forte is. I really enjoy it. You know, I have a lot of you know, people who follow my work who seem to enjoy that. Uh, it's not the only thing I shoot, but it's uh, one of the things that I, I really go out of my way to shoot. I like catching uh, the moment. You stand there for long hours waiting for a particular event to happen, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, you're waiting for that colorful sunset. It doesn't happen. You're waiting for a thunder shower with lightning behind the city. It doesn't happen. You're waiting for a moonrise, moonset, and it, it doesn't happen because you get clouded out. You know, you're, you're pretty much, uh, mother nature controls that. If I'm doing street photography, it's catching people in interesting moments. It's not just catching people, it's, I mean, you know, you can take a picture and somebody's walking and if they're doing something interesting or you've caught a moment, a moment that, you know, catches emotion, it catches something special. I kind of know it when I see it. It could be just the look the person has at the moment or something that they're doing or something that they're, they're walking past, but it's a, a, an interesting background. So there's a lot to shoot. Um, you know, whether you're shooting from outside of the city, cityscape, or actually shooting from within the city, there's, you know, just, there's always something around the corner that you can take pictures of. Light is definitely a draw in photography. It defines photography. It, it adds shape and texture to photography. Um, and then color. And it's, it's all there. And it's all there in the form of the buildings that are all different shapes and sizes and different types of architecture. From the modern architecture to the, you know, the first skyscrapers that were the Art Deco. We were shooting, um, they are testing the 9-11 uh, 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 Tribute and Lights. I shot the a moon set by the Statue of Liberty, which I've shot dozens of times, but I, I was lucky enough to be able to frame it within a structure. On my Frank Little photography page, I probably have close to 900 shots that I've published in three and a half years. I've been lucky that I've drawn a lot of good attention from not being known as a photographer to being well known as a photographer, you know, and people you know from all over the world getting in touch with me. My picture is up in the Empire State Building, you know, in, in the lobby, uh, exhibited with a dozen other photographers in Seville, Spain. Um, you know, I've been lucky that I've had my own exhibition. A lot of series of lucky events have come my way. That leads me to being appreciative. I don't take it just for granted that these happen. I appreciate what they are. A lot of it's skill and talent and hard work, but a lot of it's luck, you know? The argument for luck is that you're out there working at it 
And if you're working at it, then the opportunity for luck is there to happen.